Woo! All right, welcome to Code5Art. Today is actually a really... This video is actually a really special video because I have been invited for the fourth edition of The Secret Writer. Now, uh, first question, I guess, what is The Secret Writer? Let me give you a quick rundown. Okay, I already had a video I made explaining Secret Writer. I might link it somewhere here, there, anywhere. But the basic idea is that there is this collection of 20 graffiti artist YouTubers that want to do kind of a name exchange amongst everyone. So it's kind of like Secret Santa. Like we all get in a room and we all pick a different name. We don't tell anyone our names. And then we all make videos, we make a piece with that person's name. And then we present the video on the all same day. And that's when everyone finds out who has who and who did art for the other person. And today's that day. So I'm very excited to jump into this. I have my name, I know what I wanna do. And let me break down how I want to approach this because I wanna take a different route than I normally do. All right, so the big difference, uh, the big, okay. So the different approach I wanna to take today is that some of my favorite has always included like a recognizable character. And I feel like through uh, Secret Writer 1, 2, 3, and 4, well, actually, I don't know about four. Through Secret Writer one, two, and three, is that there haven't there? I think there's been like one or two like characters uh, painted, and you know what? I want to make one for myself. And you can probably guess. I mean, you probably know from clicking on the thumbnail that I am choosing Kirby. Which, if anyone's not familiar with uh, Kirby, it's just an old video game character, and his basic power is just sucking things up and spitting them out. Just oh, boo! And that's how he attacks his enemies. He swallows them or throws stuff at him. But it's a fun game. And here's some examples here and here. And I just learned how to put GIFs into my videos. So turns out the internet has a ton of Kirby GIFs. So you might just have a bunch of these throughout the video. Anyways, so I got this inspiration from flipping through TikTok of all things. And there was this, this guy that had this uh, this t-shirt, which I'll show you right here. And I realized that how much I love Kirby. So I wanna do something that's similar to this. And let me go into kind of like just some sketches of how I want to, to structure this. And then we can understand where we're gonna go from here. All right, so let's just get started. So if we think about Kirby, uh, the main thing that everyone knows about Kirby is that like his his power, the only thing he kind of really contributes is that he can, he sucks. <laughs> but like in a good way, I guess. But largely like with the, the the shirt that I mentioned is that like Kirby is like sucking in like some fruit. But I want this to be like him interacting with the, with the piece altogether. So if we have our secret writer name, I'm not doing my name, but it's gonna be up here. I want the main piece to be about that big. If we think of this as my wall, I kind of want the piece to be right here. And so I think I'm gonna plop Kirby down here. And he won't be the center points, but he'll still be a focal figure. I have balance that way, I have balance on both sides. Here's Kirby. And in order to like give this some action is that there's in the game there's also uh things called star blocks what i want to do is i think like underneath uh the name i have i want to have like a row of star blocks but with the star blocks i don't want them to be in a line i kind of want them to interact so instead of that i kind of want them to be drifting as if Kirby is destroying the piece in itself. And to kind of give that better sense of uh, motion that Kirby is sucking down this piece is I want to include like the, the fruit and food that he is sucking in an example for the, the shirt I mentioned. But that's, that's my goal. That's how I want to kind of structure this piece is that there's like kind of a line and underline to the actual name and I want him to be destroying it. <laughs> there's also 
one other thing is you'll see, and I think you won't you won't see it until later, is that uh, there is a special bomb block, which I think is cooler, and I'm going to incorporate that somewhere into the piece itself. So part of part of the name, maybe, maybe is that a clue? Who knows? But I'm going to put a block, bomb block in there as well and see how the whole thing goes together. But uh, yeah, let's just let's get a rough sketch on the wall and see how this looks. All right, so now I have like a sketch of what I want to do. And the sketch mostly is there just for kind of like spacing purposes so I can know how everything is going to shape up. And now I can dive into actually doing what I, what I plan to do and getting some real color on there. But first of all, what I want to do is I think I just want to jump into to Kirby right away. I think that's going to motivate me the most to, to, to go through this whole thing. But yeah, let's go check out Kirby. <music> All right, so here's the thing: is that um, the like the star blocks and also the bomb block that I'm going to do. Um, I don't trust myself like making a proper square, and this is one of those things that they all have to be the same size. So I'm kind of going to cheat and I'm going to make a stencil. Uh, typically, when I when I do stencils, I just get an Amazon box because let's be honest, everyone has about a hundred Amazon boxes at their house, so I might as well put them to use and. All I'm gonna do is, if we look at the star, uh, the star block, if you pull up my, my image right here, is the part I wanna paint is the star, right? The star and the, the edging of the block. Now, anyone can be quick to notice is that like, if you do the edging all the way around, the whole thing's gonna fall out. So I'm only concerned about the star being even, as even as I can get, the star being in the center, and also where the corners of the square go. If I know where the corners are, if I can spray paint and see the corners through the stencil, then when I pull off the stencil, I can do the line from each edge. Do you feel me? Either way, I'm gonna use my pencil, I'm gonna use a box cutter, and I'm gonna cut out the stencil. I'm gonna go ahead and use it for the blocks that go underneath the name. So let's just go ahead and just dive into that. All right, so today is day two, and uh, basically I just have to do some touch-ups. I'm gonna do some some proper shading. Also, like my shadows are a little whack in some areas, and also little bits and bobs I'm gonna put in there. But uh, yeah, let's just get to it. Let's have some fun. Ha! Okay, now it's time for the final reveal. Now this video is a little bit weird because like I had to keep it a secret until this point. The bulk of the mural I couldn't really show because that would reveal the name too soon, but now it's time for the, the reveal. Okay, so when we have 20 writers, the, we have 20 different uh, graffiti artists from five different continents, 13 different countries, 
And out of the 20 artists, I drew, drum roll, I can't drum roll, Daiso! I hope you like the piece. It's one of my favorite pieces, and it's something that I, I kind of geek out on is, is doing these little characters, and I might do more in the future after today, but uh, it came together pretty well. I hope you like it. Let's just drop in and let's just do the final reveal, and I hope everyone enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe, all that nonsense, but if not, whatever, it's fine. All right, let's do it. Bye.